A very good morning. Welcome back to another daily market outlook. Your dollar has pushed down lower and it continues to do so in line with the overall order flow. Now, here on the daily time frame, what we can very clearly see is that this area of supply acted as supply as we tapped in and pushed straight back down again. Now, once again, we have broken fractal structure here by breaking this low and pushing in towards downside. This now means that this is your new area of supply from where we expect further downside to occur from. So at the moment, I'm looking for a potential pullback on your USD still. However, we will continue to follow the overall order flow down. So there are no longs until we break that overall order flow. So what I'm keeping an eye on is a potential reversal underneath this low over here. So this liquidity low or this area of supply, one of the two. However, in order to validate those lows or that area of demand as a strong reversal point, it needs to let's say create something and with creating something i mean for example a daily fractal structure break to then trade for example a pullback up higher otherwise what could happen is that the fractal structure just remains bearish and we just tap in towards this daily area of supply and we sell off further from there in towards the downside okay so no longs on the board yet for your usd same goes for the four hour time frame. As we can see yesterday, there was again a beautiful order flow here on the four hour time frame. So this buy before the sell acted as your area of supply. Then again, this area of the buy before the sell acted as your area of supply. So as you can see over here, we wake in and stri straight push uh, back in towards the downside. Now the four hour order flow has shifted. It means that this is now your fractal load that just got broken. And currently your fractal high is the high of this bearish doji candle. So this at the moment is our four hour order flow. If we start to break the highs over here and we see, for example, a double break in towards the upside, that could start fueling a potential pull back in towards the upside for euro usd and where i'm looking that to occur from is for example this major swing low or obviously that area of daily demand now going in towards the dollar index itself here on the dollar index we can see that again we are just continuing uh, to push up higher so for now your fractal low is the low over here and your fractal high is the high over here so this is now once again your bullish range as long as this bullish range stays intact we should just simply keep on pushing up higher uh, and i wouldn't be looking for anything else um, i would love to see still some further upset on the dollar index at least in towards this liquidity high and obviously that area of supply which i've already been mentioning also in yesterday's video of around 140 three six four five or whatever it is so that's what i'm looking for from the dollar index um, i'm not really expecting a real reversal from uh, here because there's nothing here i would love to see something like this and then for example a deeper pullback in towards the downside so your daily fractal structure is the low of this candle over here it broke this high so if we for example break that four hour low that could be a till sign that we start breaking the daily low as well and that we could see a deeper pullback before then for example continuing uh, another leg up higher so that is what i'm looking at on the dollar uh, so potential pullbacks but we just need to move slightly higher in my opinion and we need to see that fractal change in structure going into AUD usd what are we seeing there AUD usd has pushed down lower once again over momentum still bearish as you can very very beautifully see there were actually some nice shorts in yesterday's market if we look here at the four hour time frame you can very clearly see that once again we break this four hour fractal low so the low of this bullish candle this then becomes your area of supply so this buy before the sell then what happens we move in towards the downside we tap back in and then from there we sell off in towards the downside once again so overall perfect order flow just doing its thing and the fractal structure playing out beautifully uh, for now it is just full of bearish momentum uh, i would not be looking at anything for longs on au until we break the high of this bearish candle over here okay so this bearish candle's high we need to break that is now your fractal high if we break that then potentially we could see a pullback otherwise only interested in shorts for now going into uh, pound dollar next so what are we seeing there so pound dollar has done absolutely nothing uh, as you can very clearly see it's just consolidating in between the two red lines which is your fractal structure so just waiting uh, for that to break out in either direction i wouldn't trade this at the moment as you can see it's just stuck in a box so we are just waiting on gpusd overall we are obviously still situated in that daily area of demand for now this is still your daily fractal high uh, i would be much more convinced that we're going to see further upside if we break that red line if you like to be a little bit more aggressive like myself then we wait for the four hour fractal high to break which is this red line over here 
So waiting for that, uh, going into Kiwi Dollar, so NZD USD, what are we seeing there? Uh, NZD USD was absolutely a beauty yesterday, as we can very clearly see, a double fractal break in towards the downside. So uh, just to make it a little bit more clear for yourself, I will delete these zones for you, just to make it a lot easier to understand. Now, what you can very clearly see is that if we uh, write down the fractal structure, this was the fractal low break. This is your fractal high over here. So then what happens? We break the fractal high in towards the upside. So this becomes your area of demand. However, do we just straight away long after, again, such bearish momentum in towards the downside? No, of course not. You would need to see more than just one bullish candle. So what you then see happening is that this fractal low gets broken over here. So let me just write that down for you. This fractal low gets broken by what? By obviously uh, the highs over here. Then again, this fractal low gets broken, so a double fractal break by this high over here. Then what happens is that we pull back in towards that area of supply, and we are now selling off from it in towards the downside. So very, very beautiful double fractal break on the four hour time frame. then supply just doing its thing and pushing price down lower. So there was a shorting opportunity again uh, yesterday on NZD USD, especially if you also look at the 15 minute time frame, you see some nice things going on. So that is actually that. Um, for the rest, just what I want to show you here on the one hour time frame is this fake area of demand that uh, had no liquidity. And as you can see, you see an initial reaction, but then again, the four hour is stronger than the one hour and the four hour just pushes the market down lower. So yesterday I was also to capitalize or able to capitalize here on a dollar yen uh, long for around 4.2K profit here on a funded account. Um, so we have already played in on those dollar uh, or on the dollar strength, as you can see. Um, so that is why NZD use the Aussie dollar, Euro dollar, pound dollar are all pushing uh, in towards downside for now. Um, going into gold, if you want to see what gold is doing, gold is very, very slow. This black line trading view is glitching. It's not removing it. Uh, but overall, you can see that it's just stuck again. Preferably, I wanted the four hour fractal low here uh, to hold. Now it has broken. This is now your four hour fractal high. So the high, or excuse me, this is now your four hour fractal high over here. So it just broke the fractal high again. It is very messy. I would need to see another strong candle closure up and then, for example, a pullback and then further upside. So I would be looking for gold uh, longs if this four hour candle close can close as an engulfing candle above uh, yeah, the bearish candles high over here and then look for a potential long on the pullback. So that's what I'm looking for today, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Wish you all a fantastic trading day and see you soon.